The man in this car is Mohammed Ben Salaya, long before he was FIA president and coming out of his sexist phase. You're probably wondering how this happened. Guess it's a good thing I'm here then. It's the 9th of April 2009. That year's Formula 1 championship has only just begun, though everyone's sights are set on the end of the season. That's because a new race would be rounding out the F1 calendar in a little place called Abu Dhabi. Wonder how that turned out. F1's involvement in the Middle East was still relatively small at this stage, and so an event was scheduled to hype up F1's proper arrival at the end of the year topped off with the running of a Renault Formula 1 car. The Asmarina circuit still wasn't ready by this stage, so the event would instead take place at the Dubai Autodrome, famous for absolutely nothing. Meanwhile, the car used would be the 2008 Renault R28, which in the hands of Fernando Alonso won in Fuji that year, and also Singapore. Huh. That little incident hadn't been uncovered by this stage, but both drivers were busy with the actual F1 season and didn't have the time to piss about in Dubai for an afternoon. So, who would Renault turn to instead? Well, that would be this guy, Julian Pigway. Or I think that's how you pronounce it. This guy is so irrelevant, he doesn't even have a Wikipedia page, meaning I actually had to do some research for once to work out who he was. As it turns out, Pigway was a Renault backup driver and was runner-up in the 2005 Renault Clio Cup. Says a lot when that's the extent of your achievements, doesn't it? How this guy managed to stumble his way into Renault's F1 operation is anyone's guess. But as you should have worked out by now, he wasn't the one who slammed his car into the inside barrier. Enter Mohammed Ben Salayam. The former rally driver was currently vice president of the FIA and had been integral in taking F1 to Abu Dhabi in the first place. Team LH are seething now, I can feel it. Anyway, it was decided that Ben Salayam and Pigway would switch cars for a drag race on the main straight. Julian would get Ben Salayam's Ford GT and Mohammed would hop into the Renault Formula 1 car. What could possibly go wrong? Well, as it turns out, quite a lot, and you've seen it many a time throughout this video. Ben Salayam lit up the rears as he got off the line, spun across the track, and straight into the pit wall. The only thing that could have made this any funnier would have been if he'd taken out his own 4 GT in the process. I should say that Salayam escaped unhurt from the incident, besides pride potentially, but it would make him look like a bit of a tit in front of the vast crowds at the Dubai Autodrome. I guess then setting him up for when he looked like an even bigger tit in charge of Formula 1. The reaction from the rest of the F1 world was mixed. While Salayam claimed he had no idea why lighting up the rear of a Formula 1 car sent you spinning into a wall, other drivers defended this crash, most notably existing Renault driver Nelson Piquet Jr. Wonder why that was. The crash at least seemed to bring some sort of media attention to the event, which, by looking at the grandstands, didn't appear too popular amongst the locals. At the end of the season, the first Abu Dhabi Grand Prix went ahead as planned, and it's been ruining title deciders ever since. Ben Salim's crash, meanwhile, seems to have faded away into obscurity. I'll admit I wasn't aware of it until I stumbled upon the crash video a few days ago. So I'm curious, were you guys already aware of this, or are you as surprised as I was? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this, albeit slightly shorter video this week, do drop it a like and get subscribed for more content throughout the 2023 F1 season and beyond. And of course, a final thanks has to go to all of my patrons and members. If you want to help support me and the channel further, all the links you need again are down in the description below with all of my socials as well. Anyway, that's all from me, so I'll see you soon with another video, but until then, have a good one.